Hello, Limitless Leaders. Happy Friday on this Friday, April the 2nd. This is your next edition of the Limitless Leaders Minutes, episode 13. The title is The Egoless and the Titleless Limitless Leader. As I've written, the quote that really got to my heart for this week was the one from Martin Luther King when it says, you will remember more the silence of your friends than the words of your enemies. And during a moment of crisis, sometimes depending on how you are and how you react in a moment of crisis, you either speak too much or do not speak at all. It's important to voice your opinions, but it's also important to listen to them. So I would like to share to you this story. Nothing has to do with leading through crisis or pandemic. It's actually a great story of hope, of what's potential and what's possible if you live within the principle of limitless leadership, in my perspective. It's the story of Robert Montanez, who was a janitor at a company called Frito-Lay. During his tenure there, not having any education and starting as a janitor, he came across a batch that actually of Cheetos that was rendered plain because somehow something broke down and it wasn't spread with the typical cheese component to it. Rather than crossing over this and not doing anything about it, Robert decided to take that batch home and from there got inspired by his culture in terms of adding some spiciness to corn that he saw from street vendors and embarked upon an adventure to create another spice which then got to be flaming Hot Cheetos. Now the story here is that as a janitor he has no authority title. Limitless leadership does not require any title. He took it upon himself to create this new concoction and then proceeded to call the CEO. That takes courage, doesn't it? To voice your opinion, to participate and collaborate, to remove all instances where you think, oh, they're gonna steal the ideas from me, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna take it and run with it, I'm not gonna make anything from it rather than protecting it. So he decided to participate and have trust in the leadership. Now the leadership probably created an environment of sort. Enter Roger Enrico, the CEO of Frito-Lay at that moment. Being called by a janitor could have been very easily disregarded this attempt to really entertain it with no desire to pursue it at all. But what Roger Enrico is, this is where I bring in the egoless leader is that he invited Robert Martinez to come and present to the executive team this new Cheeto flavor. Of course, the executive team loved it and it proceeded to create another category, the flaming Hot Cheetos that you see now being perpetrated in various chips and various other flavors within the organization. From, so from the titleless leader, the one that has no authority, decided to embark upon a solution driven, taking advantage of an opportunity during a mini crisis. I mean, the cheese didn't go on the Cheetos, right? And embarked upon and presented the solution and enter in the egoless leader that regardless of a person's background, a person's education, decided to entertain, be open to ideas. As we are facing of course, this crisis together that changes significantly on a day-to-day -day basis, and more importantly, as we move forward in North America now. It is important that if you are a limitless leader and you have no authority entitled, that you participate and collaborate and provide your leadership. And for those of you who are in position of authority and power, please, this is the time to disregard to be aware of your ego because we all have it, I do have it, to disregard it and to listen, to be on the prowl for these new ideas, for these solutions that may just help us push through the crisis but also propel us after the crisis. 
Hope this was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and comment. We'll chat with you later. Make it a safe, safe, safe. That's the most important. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay home. Also keep happy. Social distancing is one. Physical distancing is a better term, I think. But social interaction is still key. Pick up the phone, call someone, and tell them you love them. Take care. This is Tito saying, until I see you next time live and in person, make every day bandages. Here's to your prodigious success and lead on.